Hi everyone, my name is Beverly Amstetter. I support enterprise level digital marketers in science to help them achieve their business goals on the ResearchGate platform. Hey everyone, I'm Steven de Grazia. Like my colleague Bev, I work directly with marketers across STEM, such as science, technology, and engineering, in order to help them achieve top line business growth via ResearchGate scientific platform. Continue to support our valued life science marketing and advertising customers. ResearchGate is proud to present our new commercial insight series. This series uses ResearchGate proprietary data and member surveys to surface insights that can help life science marketers get the most out of their marketing and advertising spend. These insights will be presented here with actionable takeaways to inform your business marketing strategy. Our aim today is to help you to learn how to build a great advertising and marketing approach that connects with scientists in the ways they need by helping you better understand buyer needs, concerns, motivations, and general behavior in purchasing lab equipment. Today, we'll look more deeply at lab equipment buying groups and what manufacturers need to know in order to influence their decisions. As we can see, the stage that is most critical in raising awareness and building that trust which most impacts an eventual purchase, is actually at the very beginning of the purchase journey. What you see here is information derived from a white paper published by Challenger Incorporated, a global performance improvement platform. According to their study, 57% of a buyer's brand choice occurs during the awareness and knowledge stages. By the time the buyer is evaluating their options and thinking about purchasing a product, they have already been influenced by the content they have viewed in the initial consideration phase. With that considered, the general consensus among life scientists is that there is not enough work being done in the consideration phase, which is so pivotal for them in deciding which brand to choose for their purchase. From a study conducted by Bioinformatics in which they surveyed 1,000 life scientists from 27 of the world's largest life science companies, they found that less than 6% of life scientists are satisfied with the information they are receiving during the consideration phase. Content that informs, educates, and builds brand trust is pivotal before the buyer is in a position when they are ready to purchase. There is a significant need for brands to be more active in the initial consideration phase to ensure an eventual purchase. Positioning your brand as a thought leader through educational, informative content is a preferred vehicle to build trust. To impact purchase, marketers need to communicate to scientists and engineers at least one to two months ahead of purchase. Communication and messaging should be different as you lead the consumer through the purchase funnel. Start with educational messaging for awareness and then move to product messaging closer to the actual purchase. As you can see here, 45% of consumable purchases require at least one to two months of research and planning, while 65% of equipment purchases require at least one to two months of research and planning. This ultimately points to the need for phasing your marketing and advertising campaigns so that you're targeting both the potential buyers and the primed buyers, ensuring they receive the right message at the right time. Marketing timing and tactics should differ based on item price. For example, lab purchases which cost $10,000 or more require starting up to a year pre-purchase and having enough relevant content marketing across the right channels that capture researchers in the appropriate context to satisfy the buyer's pre-purchase research and due, due diligence. Less expensive items require an average two months pre-purchase. While it might seem obvious, it is important to note that lab groups aren't just logging on to buy straight away as they would with an inexpensive consumer good. Instead, there are far longer and far more complex processes and decisions at play. And marketers have an opportunity to play the long game and operate strategically in order to influence sales. Interestingly, successful life science marketing requires targeting multiple people from the buying group, not just single decision makers. As you can see in the bar graphs here, 70% of lab equipment purchases and 60% of consumable lab equipment purchases consist of buying groups of three or more people. To reach the whole group, marketers and advertisers need to work strategically by establishing larger, multiple target campaigns, each with unique influencing messages tailored to different individuals with different team functions. Unfortunately, direct product marketing that immediately touts the functional benefits of laboratory equipment is not sufficient. Instead, high value scientific content that ultimately informs the end purchasing decision is a much better approach. 
breadth of your marketing campaign should be commensurate with the price of the item you are marketing, as should the number of targets you're interested in addressing. If the price of a product is higher, roughly $5,000 or more, then your corresponding scientific content campaign should be broader, targeting at least three functional people in the buying group. If the price tag is lower, so $500 or less, then fewer advertising targets are required in order to build trust and confidence in your brand among the end users, influencers, gatekeepers, and decision makers that contribute to the final purchase. While senior scientists are involved in all buying groups, we're finding that more junior scientists are also usually involved and very likely influence the more senior buying group members. Successful marketing campaigns should not only have multiple targets, but also address the role of influencers, such as peers and more junior staff, to maximize impact. In fact, in our next commercial insight series, which we'll share with you in Q4, we will address the tactics and levers to pull in order to tackle multi-level, multi-discipline purchasing decisions. Successful marketing campaigns must influence the key decision makers for lab equipment. This tends to be professors, principal investigators, and research scientists. It's key to make sure your campaigns, at minimum, reach all three types of people. Again, messaging may need to differ based on role, seniority, and focus. Proper campaign testing, such as your standard digital A-B testing, can help optimize campaign messaging to best connect with your various targets. The importance of starting marketing campaigns at least two months ahead of typical purchase is critical. The more senior the colleague, the earlier the marketing program should start keeping in mind that the initial awareness and knowledge phase can sometimes occur nearly a year in advance. Campaigns should follow each key member of the buying group along their respective purchase journeys, starting with awareness in the form of educational content, followed by more product-related messaging, which is focused on conversion closer to purchase. Sequential targeting, which utilizes engagement-based insights to follow targets throughout this journey, are valuable for such strategic marketing activations. In summary, here are six key takeaways that can inform your marketing and advertising decisions to achieve your business goals. Key takeaway number one, the average length of a pre-purchase research is one to two months. Lab equipment requires significantly more pre-purchase research than consumables. Key takeaway number two, pre-purchase research changes significantly based on item price. Items over $10,000 require up to a year of research, while items under $1,000 require one to two months of research. Key takeaway number three, lab equipment buying groups typically consist of at least three people. Successful life science marketing requires targeting multiple people in buying groups. Key takeaway number four, buying group size increases with item price. Items costing $1,000 or more consist of two to three people in the buying group while items costing up to $500 require only one to three people. Key takeaway number five, buying groups are diverse and require multi-target campaigns. Successful marketing campaigns should not only have multiple targets, but also address the role of influencers like peers and more junior staff to maximize impact. Key takeaway number six, decision makers are typically more senior. Proper campaign testing, like A-B testing, can help optimize campaign messaging to address each member of the buying group. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope the insights presented here provide you with actionable takeaways to inform your business marketing strategy. And should you have any follow-up questions, please reach out to your dedicated sales or account manager here at ResearchGate Marketing Solutions. We are always here to help you. Thanks again. Thanks everyone and stay tuned. In Q4, we're delivering another insights report and webinar for you. And this time we'll focus on the tactics and levers to pull for your marketing activations in STEM. Thanks, bye.